Hello everyone, myself Girish with the SOLIDWORKS series of tutorials here with introduction to SOLIDWORKS assembly. Agenda of the day, the first thing is we'll just see what exactly the top down assembly and the bottom up assembly approach is and then we'll go ahead with the different types of mates, basics actually and then we'll see the exploded views and the exploded lines how to use them and uh, animation basics and even uh, motion analysis basics we'll see how exactly it's gonna help us and the even assembly drawing basics how to create the drafting for this particular screw jack assembly we'll see that one a double loaning bomb and section views we'll see and finally we'll again go through the few of the quick tips on it yeah this is the uh, basic body if you want to switch to the assembly you can use the make assembly from this part you can choose the body as default if you do it by default whatever the model you're gonna bring it it will be placed exactly at the center of the uh, assembly workbench now to add the uh, extra components you can simply browse the location where you have saved the file that we are dealing with the bottom of assembly approach just simply drag and drop it okay now to deal with the assembly the best way is to use the shortcuts so here i'm going to use a shortcut first and then I'll, I'll use the mate tool there okay you can hold the control select the faces and just release the control and just select the mate which you are looking for and same thing you can use the mate option and here you can simply select the uh, faces which you want to mate like this so automatically it will transfer you can even see the animation of it and the transparency with respect to the selection the primary will be transparent this you can use it if you are new to the uh, assembly workbench or else you can use the shortcut next thing is hold the alt and just drag your part towards the uh, mating location so it will automatically detect the uh, location of the uh, mate concentric you just need to click on green shine so here i need to lock it hold the control select these two and lock the mate so that whatever the position you have given so that will be locked accordingly uh fine so we'll just assemble these uh, remaining parts this is the cup part you can simply select the bottom of uh, face and here the surface release the control and just define the concentric you can drag the component hold the control select these two faces release concentric okay same thing for these two uh, washer and the screw i'll just select this face and this and coincident and now if i even move it it won't and you don't need to assign any extra mates there as you have defined the face mate that will take the concentric as well so this particular uh, surface and the this face is coincident and then concentric mate is remaining again simply select the cylindrical surface and this face concentric okay now you could see uh, we have the entire model assembled but here i do need to still define the mates uh, first thing is i need to make these two faces coincident and then i need to define the distance made for the particular this spindle moment i'll do it now before that before that i'll just define the uh, parallel made between these two the dummy bar and the spindle so that uh, the bar should uh, lie with respect to the same thing so here now you can zoom in and here you can define the distance between this face to this face you can select the distance made from there just define it 30 okay uh fine so these are the few mating techniques you can use it and then you can just make the drawing from this before that you need to save the file just define the location and just name it accordingly yeah 
so here you need to select the standard I'll choose the e3 as the ISO standard sheet format here you can simply use the view palette and drag and drop the required views the front and the top and the isometric view and side view whichever you want you can simply select it and place it the auto projection view is active you can use it and you can scale your sheet there by using the scale option by default it will change the scale option for each and every uh, views if you want to change the display style you can choose the display style from there and now I don't want this view I'll delete it so that I can create the section view there you can switch to the drawing tab just select the section view and select the cutting line uh, horizontal there green check just click on green check it is not needed now well so you can see this is the section now uh, I need to deal with the palm and the auto ballooning here so you can just directly go to the uh, auto ballooning option and you can simply utilize the pattern types just to place your balloons there are different pattern types and this is looks fine no issues yeah uh, now time to add the palm here I'll simply delete this view I don't need this for now uh, you can use the tables drop down from the annotations and choose the bomb and just choose this particular drawing green shack and get the bomb table added there now if you want to delete this one you can simply delete the column from here in the delete option if you want to add the extra uh, tables you can use the insert options to add the extra uh, columns for dealing with the materials and all okay now coming to uh, assembly workbench let's say if you want to create the animation you can switch to the motion studies and from there uh, you can define the mechanical mates we have the screw mate uh, i just need to rotate it you can simply select these two faces and define the distance per revolution so uh, let's say it is five and i'll simply click on green check and i'll calculate this okay the timing is uh, too much you can simply use the uh, actor to six seconds you can simply drag and drop it and accordingly you can have the animation created over there in the motion studies there are different types available actually uh, but for now it's okay uh, this is just a basics we'll see these things later now yeah so here uh, exploded views uh, I'll simply select this one if you want to orient to axis you just need to drag and drop it on the cylinder so that it will directly take the axis of the cylinder drag the component and place it now I want to uh, uh, export this all the component at once you select all the components here one by one by just clicking on the turn and for the second explode I need these all now these two as well here at the bottom we have the auto space component option in the options you just need to activate it and then drag it so there are different options you can try out I'll use the default one and this is how it's going to explode at once all the components shortcut if you want you can do it one by one now to deal with the animation of this what you can do is simply right click on it and you can go ahead with the collapse if you want to collapse it to normal or if you want to animate it you can choose the animate expand so if you want to just want both you can use the uh, reverse option and you can use the slow and fast modes and this also you can use the uh, into the motion studies to just create this one explode and collapse animation that is simple basic stuff uh, that one you can see later okay well uh, this is quite simple there now if you want to just uh, deal with the exploded lines you can use this smart export lines software will automatically define the uh, options here if you want to change the reference point to origin you can deal here from the location of where it has created it will be added there okay these are the few things with respect to the uh, bottom up assembly approach
yeah so let me add few more points here uh, as we have seen the uh, bottom up assembly approach and few of the uh, uh, tools with respect to the assemblies okay there are so many options available in the uh, uh, assembly actually this uh, this will help you to create the uh, new parts if you want to insert the components you can use the uh, uh, insert components uh, otherwise you can use the file explorer to browse it that's the one of the best way and if you want to add the new uh, assemblies that also you can do it here into the assembly you can even add the assemblies and you can even create the sub assemblies copy with mates this will help you to uh, deal with the uh, advanced kind of assemblies you can directly copy the mates which and all you assign and you can just define the same there uh, let's say here uh, you can press this sh sh shift C to just close all the open tabs let's say if you open this one if you want to close this all the features which are open at, at once you can simply hold the shift and press C okay let's say I want to create the sub assemblies here you can simply hold the control and you can right click on the both and you can use this option form a new sub assembly so it will create a sub assembly for it right so if you don't want it simply right click on it and dissolve sub assembly it will create the separate components uh, this is the one of the quick tip and uh, I have showcased a few of the uh, advanced tips right uh, just holding the control you could able to define the mates by using the quick access tools so one more option I have showcased let me just showcase now here you can hold the control and drag and drop it to copy the uh, previous component the copy of the component will be created if you want to rotate the uh, component here just uh, right click on the component hold it and drag it like this if you want to move it just left click drag your component okay and now as i said you need to hold the alt drag your component towards the uh, face where you want to make it software will automatically detect the concentric mate right so this is one option let's say uh, if you want to make this one this edge to this edge you can simply hold the uh, alt just hover on the edge drag and drop it on this you can see coincident and concentric it will automatically define the mates one of the good tool we can say there okay and one more is as i said hold the control select the faces and just release it we'll have the quick access tools from here it will automatically showcase which mate needs to be active right well one more thing is we, we have the uh component preview window it is inactive if you just select the uh component that will be showcased in the component preview window this will help you to deal with the advanced mating techniques okay so you can even rotate the component drag and drop it here you can just move it however you want to assign the mates here and once you are done with that you can simply exit the preview even you can use the move component and the rotate component to deal with the same uh, let's say if you have the uh, clearance into your model if you want to cross check the same uh, let me just suppress the distance mate here it is already suppressed but still it is not moving the reason is screw mate might be suppress this yeah now you could see there is a clearance uh, interference right to check this what to do is you can switch to evaluate you can use the uh, interference detection if i click on calculate it gonna showcase where exactly the interference is happening right and the region of the interface this is one way to find out the uh, interfaces where exactly it is happening let's say if you want to check uh, where exactly it gonna collide that we have the collision detection uh, that is available in the move component we have the collision detection you can use the stop at collision you can use the uh, only these component or all components as you wish i will just select these components only here for my reference i'll use the resume track just drag this one up to down so it will stop at that location you could see and it will give the bump identification that this face is touching there and you should stop right good tool and then 
if you want to check the clearance uh, I think this is the fine place to cross check I don't think there is a clearance you can use the uh, evaluate clearance verification and just select the faces and just simply click on calculate it shows the cap okay between these two it is one mm it shows fine uh, again if you want to check the entire mass and all you can use the mass properties here and it will it wanna give you the uh, entire uh, detailed description about the mass volume center of mass moment of inertia yeah, surface areas and all okay let's say if you want to just deal with the unit system by default or if you want to modify the uh, mass you can directly go here you can override the mass manually and even you can deal with the center of mass you can even vary that in the options you can set the unit systems accordingly with respect to custom you can even change it to kgs well uh, fine so let me just see what else to be explained this section properties will help you to just deal with the uh, cross-sectional area if you want to find out so you can select this section properties face is selected calculate so it's gonna showcase the area of it and the uh, centroid relate use and even you have the movement of inertia values that is not needed for now uh, well, we have the uh, different assembly features that is adding holes and all if you create the holes into the assembly workbench only that will be added here We can even create the cut extrudes revolves sweep fillets and chamfers inside the assembly workbench Okay uh, There are different options. Let's say I want to apply the fillet Let me just showcase if I just select the fillet and if I choose any of the edge this one here uh, we have the feature scopes if i just select this option it will uh, transfer the features into the part as well okay whatever the uh, assembly features you're gonna create that will be only available in the assemblies if you create it here and if i use the feature scope that will be a uh, transport to the part as well remember that one of the advanced feature uh, let's say uh, i want to add the texture to the snarlings uh, many of the people will ask the same question to deal with that you can use the uh, appearances and there are different types of appearances available okay let me just see where exactly the uh, textures are added miscellaneous mm. yeah 3d textures uh, I need the null Uh, there are different null options available bump 4 bump 8 mm. this this likes quite good you can simply drag and drop it on it only on the face right yes now if you want to adjust the shape and size and color of it what you can do is you can switch to the appearances can go here and you can edit the appearance and you can use the uh, these actors to just define it how you want let's say this is okay if you want to change the types you can use the color as well you can use the color picker and you can even define the same color of it right so in the advanced options we do have the options to deal with the mapping here uh, there are different options to map with respect to cylinder it has selected no issues for me that's fine uh, Let me just recorrect it. In the advanced options. We have the mapping with respect to what exactly you're looking for. Can 
even define these all the options manually whatever these sizes are there let's say i want it as 2 by 2 you can define it it will take accordingly right and let's say this surface finish you can even add the different types if i use null it will give the uh, appearance of the null you can see the bump right and if we want to change it accordingly let's say i want dimpled it will show the dimple like this now i'll pump nine so these are the uh, surface finishes which will help you to get the realistic images okay this looks quite good even you can add the knurling for this so that you can do it manually no issues for that well this is about dealing with the uh, knurling options uh, because if you create the features it will create the uh, patterns so that will take the more time to deal with your assembly and that will reduce your performance better to deal with these options while working with this kind of uh, knurling operations okay let's say uh, there are few things with respect to the uh, motion studies so here if i need to explain these all the steps this is gonna take more time so i'll just simply introduce in the add in we have the solidworks motion if you add this one you're gonna have the all the properties with respect to motion and others so you can even define the uh, damper force and the contacts and the gravity and the spring motor according to that you can even get the results let's say if i define the uh, force on it uh, 100 kgs and if i just simulate it with respect to the uh, motor with respect to the screw mechanism so it will give you the loading conditions uh, with respect to that you're gonna get the results in the form of displacement force momentum and all so right now i'm not gonna explain these all the steps the basic animations you can able to create your own kind of animations let's say i'll ju just showcase a simple animation creation uh, it is needed actually right uh, let me just make it normal to view i'll create a copy of this for the control drag and drop it now this particular component for this one i need to create the animation you can simply drag it and you can simply click on this particular option that is add actor right and the orientation uh, it is changing you can simply turn off this one disable view creation so that you can simply get the same thing and now uh, I will drag this one simply like this and I'll place it here and I'll update the key and now if I just animate it you can see it will create the same animation like this right like this you can create the manual animations if you want to deal with or if you want to use a standard set of steps you can even do that again if you want to deal with the camera positions that also you can do it let's say if you want to just make the uh, camera animations you can use this one and you can add the actors accordingly you can right click on it and you can select the uh, replace key and accordingly the animation will be created let's say now here i need the uh it is already there no issues there and at this location i need the top view so what you can do is you can switch here you can just simply uh, orient to top view and right click on the view orientation and replace key if you do it you can see isometric front and top like this you can create the uh, animations so this is just a basics that's okay 
well uh, what else to be done here is let me just see the drawing is available here yep uh, before that let me just delete the extra parts which I have created this is not needed if you make the any changes into the assembly this will be automatically updated to the any of the templates which you are working on so let's say I am working on both the templates here drawing and the assembly so it will update accordingly right now let's say I want one more uh, tab to be added so you can use the insert option you can choose the column at your right side and here you can choose the properties custom properties and different equations and all if you want to add it you can add it and in the custom property what exactly you need you can simply select it let's say I need a comments you can simply add it there like this okay let's say if you want to define the different stubs that is material and all you need to assign the material for the components then only you're gonna get the options here okay if you want to assign the material for all these steps for all the components by default you need to create a template over there you need to define the material and it will be automatically updated here not gonna go in depth that uh, let it be and then so remaining everything is same no need to explain uh, more steps here uh, these all the extra steps I'll cover later so let's say if you want to break the view you can use the break view option uh, you can select the view which you want to work on you can change the different styles let's say I want this to be added you can simply select these two so cap also you can mention that it will break the view uh, that is one and then there are again remote sections that also you can do it but these things I'll explain in the later sessions so for now this is enough uh, let me just switch back to the uh, summary yeah, we have gone through the uh, top down and bottom up assembly approach just to clarify bottom up assembly approach is the assembly approach where you're gonna create the component first and you're gonna save it and then you're gonna bring it one by one and assemble it and dealing with the top down assembly approach you're gonna create the component inside the assembly workbench and you'll start saving and assembling there itself we have gone through the standard mates we have used the shortcuts to deal with the mates we have seen the exploded views and the exploded lines how to assign them we have also seen the animations and basic animation creations motion analysis basics we have seen assembly drawing basics also we have covered few of the steps we have seen the auto ballooning bomb and the section view how to create them finally we have seen quick tips so holding the alt and defining the same and then holding the control and assigning the mates and uh, while dealing with the animations changing the views these are the few quick tips while following the uh, bottom up assembly approach well thank you all stay tuned